Good morning, church, and welcome to worship this morning. There are a lot of announcements to go over, so I'll jump right in. First, don't forget about our monthly prayer service this afternoon from 4 to 5 p.m. in room 12. If you want to be blessed by an intentional time of prayer with your brothers and sisters in Christ, don't miss this, and child care will be provided for children five and under. Then two quick things for the women out there. First, we want to invite all women to our next Women's Discipleship Night gathering next Tuesday, November 28th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. in Room 4. Jenny Kay will be leading a discussion on prayer, and we hope you'll join us for a rich time of discussion, teaching, and fellowship. Also, ladies, you'll see a way to RSVP for our upcoming Christmas event on December 9th in the bulletin today. Please complete the card and drop it in the offering bowl or the offering slot in the back of the worship center by December 4th. You can see the email I'll be sending out this week as well with more information about the event. And then looking ahead, we'll be holding our next New Connections Lunch after second service on December 10th in Room 12. This is a fantastic opportunity for those of you who are new or newer to CCC to make new friends, meet some of our pastors, staff, and elders, and get your questions answered. Kids are welcome and lunch is on us, so we hope to see you there. We also want to make you aware of our plans for Christmas services this year. Because Christmas Eve falls on a Sunday this year, we'll be holding one combined service on December 24th at 11 a.m. at the Civic Center. We hope you'll plan to be with us for this joyous celebration of Christ's birth with your church family. And finally, just a quick reminder that we're taking our mercy offering today. These funds go to bless and meet the needs of folks in our church body and our community. Just remember to put mercy on the memo line of your check or in the note section of your online donation. Thank you for giving generously. Thanks, church. We hope you had a great Thanksgiving holiday and will remain in a spirit of gratitude and praise for all God is doing in us, for us, and through us as we continue to worship.